Full of sand water. <laughs> awesome. That is delicious. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to hone into this. Welcome back, people, for another episode of Dom's Fishing Adventures. Now, I've already had a magnificent cook up this evening on whiting. On this episode, I do go out for squid as well as whiting, but I decided to break this movie up and I wanted to focus whiting. And people do struggle to catch whiting. It's a very simple fish to really catch and target. The trick is look for the sand, 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 sand whiting sand beds. So the name is in the title of the fish sand whiting fish the sand beds. Right. They've got small mouths. So I, I love using uh, the gamakatsu, so try and use fresh hooks every time you go out. It is a size 4, which is reasonably probably on the bigger side for, for sand whiting. If you're going for King George, you can upsize to um, 2, I think it goes the opposite way. Size 6s are getting pretty small as well, if you're getting desperate and if you're getting a lot of bites, definitely downsize to a size 6, but size 4s are pretty well what, what I use. So we'll be using two of these, red beading or the tube, and you can cut them up to size, probably about yay big put them onto the on the line for the rig I'm actually using pretty high poundage 60 pound I like using heavy pound line for my rigs basically you get less tangles you can use a say 30 pound or even 25 pound but I find that after one or two hook fish it just gets tangled up twisted and I hate that so I eat like I'll just use 60 pound line not because you're, you're not going to catch a big fish and you're scared of breaking the line it's because of the twists and the turn and the kinks so this here 60 pound line is what I use also we've got these sinkers, I've got a small snapper sinker or a large heavy one, usually for whiting I'm in about uh, 10 meters of water, this just gets down to it a lot quicker and it does stir up the sand and whiting love that, they love some sort of movement, some sort of sand being fluffed up from the bottom of the ocean, if you're on anchor definitely use a smaller sinker, you'll feel the bites a lot better, that's probably about a meter. The first thing I'll do, tie on one of these snap shrivels, this is where we're going to connect the, the sinker on. Do a bit of a twist, grab this line in there three times, one, two, three. And what we try and do is pry open where, where they twist, open it up, try and grab that other loop, hold on to these other two lines firmly and slowly pull through. You can see that's turning into a knot. <clears throat> Give it a nice little pull tug that you droop a knot awesome get some more of this line cut it into about 15 centimeter pieces and we just tie the line I prefer because that drooper knot is pointing that way this is where I like to feed the line on top basic knot as I said I'm hopeless for the names of these knots I do know a couple it's just a real simple knot Okay, try and feed it through, there you go, that way there, you should know how to tie a hook onto a line, but I'll quickly show what I do, again very simple knot, there you go, pull that tubing all the way down the hook, bit of squid tentacle, just put it over it once, whiting, will find this irresistible and they love that red tubing because the contrast of, of red on the white sandy bottom it sort of sticks out like a sore thumb and they love sore thumbs <laughs> we've got the snaps shrivel there for the sinker about 20 centimeters for your first drooper knot 10 centimeter 10 15 centimeter um, extension line here with the with the tubing long shank hook a bit further up we've got the same one and that's it Anyway, had a great time out there. I did catch some squid as well in the same episode. I had to break it up because it was getting a bit too long. Watch and uh, enjoy the cook up at the end of the show. Okay, people, we're just gonna move over to the whiting grounds. Let's do it. I hope it's whiting. It only is. Not a big thumper one, but it's definitely edible size. Awesome. I love that when you find your spot and then bang, and you, you definitely know you're in the right spot. I want to go for the big ones. I might anchor. Put the anchor over board. I 
I've got some of these pellets. And they will slowly dissolve. Will attract the fish. The only thing is they might attract the fish I don't want I want. Now you lost him. <laughs> got that one out there and But I got a, I got an extra tracer from the sinker down to the next hook with that red bead, uh, red tubing. So it's an all-around rig. King George whiting is pretty good. Sand whiting is very good as well. On the drift, you might have to get rid of that extra line on the bottom because you might snag on weed and stuff. But on the anchor, that last hook has been has been catching it for me. Those are flatty. Now, if the flatties were big, I'd keep them, but obviously it's way too small. Nice release. <coughs> I've got a squid on this one. Oh, he's a big one, too. What a big weight. Be a cuttlefish. The hell? Oh, there you go. Whoa. Yeah, he's, he's just on. Be very, very careful here. On. Yeah. <laughs> The human game is fireworks. <laughs> Lovely. I'm catching more squid today anchoring than I am drifting. How about that for a fact? What I do, I throw it straight away, drop the uh, other, other line. There you go. It's got a bit of weight. No wonder. <laughs> Two fine specimens, that's why. Two fine specimens of whiting. Good size. Ouch. Beautiful fish. There you go. Yeah, so this this is working. Having two rides, but just dropping one one line in the water at a time. Oh, look how thumb went on. Here's a thumpy one, this one. <laughs> Beautiful. Now it's taken a while. I think the pearly's starting to work. Or maybe that squid down there was scaring the whiting away. And, well, I've got him in the bucket, so the only thing that's scaring the whiting now is the sinker hitting on their head. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. What is he? Oh, he's been jagged. <laughs> been jagged. Oh yeah. See that one? Here he comes. Yeah, mate, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Do all that. Another fine specimen of mine here. Love lie. Love lie whiting. You know how I said I wanted to have a nice relaxed fishing day? Well, I am. Absolutely. Pretty much at peace. Just love being on the water. Even shore based fishing, you know, the water, the ocean. Dead air. Even though I'm right near the major port, that's full of diesel, but 
a few of the calamari farts always seem to blend in. In fact, it's been a while since I've told you about the calamari farts. It's the only way I can locate them. You can hear them a mile away, you know? Whoa! <laughs> the good thing about calamari farts is that they uh, scare the whiting into submission. <laughs> Maybe not. A few more whiting or flatties. <laughs> That's a nice one. Flatty can go back overboard. That's the way. <laughs> Got a big sink on this. Bad idea. This feels huge. <laughs> what do we got? Okay. Okay. I'll take that any day of the week. Too fine whiting. What is it? Nice pump whiting. Hello people. I'm gonna finish up, head off home, and uh, we've got a cook up lined up. Especially for you. Fish ducker. Fish ducker. Fish ducker, man. Okay people, we're ready for the cook up. Fish. I've got these uh Fish, Lovely whiting, the fish, and taco, I'm going to pick up something. For some reason in my head, I just had to do it. It involves flour, eggs, pasta, whiting. Let's get into it. And for the pasta mix, I'm going to fresh make it. Here we go. It's about 300 grams. I think that's just about there. And three eggs. Okay, we put that over here. Just make a little well, crack our eggs. Pinch of salt, and this bit gets a bit messy until you get to a nice doughy mixture. And then we start kneading it. Right, so you need this for about 10 minutes until you get a nice doughy sort of texture. I've had to add in a bit more flour because it was getting a bit too well, it was too moist and this really really works well. You know it's ready if you poke it and it bounces back up almost to the same position. So it's nice and springy. Now we need to fillet these fish so I'm just going to carefully just slice it like that. Mind you, it's a sharp knife, but it's not really a fillet knife, but <laughs> I've just got to use what's with me at the moment. Okay, I saw that's heaps. So I see that I'll make sure there's no bones around here. All right, so there we have it. That's the whiting fillets, all deboned and, and all doled up. Now what I want to do is actually cut these into mouth-sized pieces. I need to do catch and cook, so I just cut myself. That's how sharp this thing is. Looks like I might need a, a band-aid here. So we're going to cook up the, the whiting fillet, the whiting pieces. I want a bit more flavour because whiting is a bit bland in flat and taste, even though know, it is very nice. So I'm going to sauté them in uh, my favourite thing, smoked mussels. So I'm just going to use the oil and the juices. Okay, and just throw in the whiting. Bit of salt. Flavoring. 
Mmm, that's pretty good. This is going to start mashing it all up. When it goes into uh, the ravioli, it comes nice and soft and creamy. All right, remember this guy, half an hour ago in the fridge? Let's put him out here. A bit of a turn. I want to try and make it into a bit of a sausage. Got the pasta machine here. It's electric, so it's nice and easy. Started off on the thickest bit. Okay, we turn it down probably half that size. How about that? Fresh pasta. Made in the garage. <laughs> Time for the filling. I'm actually going to add a bit of ricotta. And this is going to give it a creamy texture. But not use that. So there's going to be whiting, the smoked mussels, the ricotta, nice and creamy. And those little ravioli, seafood ravioli. I reckon it's going to be a good dish. Just put it like that. Down over here. What we do now is we fold this over. Make sure we get so fold this one. I'll stuff that up. I'll stuff that up. Anyway, so what we do is try and get rid of all the air. Just pinch this over. And same here. So I've got one of these gizmos. And what it basically does it seals the two pieces of pasta together at the same time it trims the excess off there you have it that's a big one yeah so I wasn't probably wasn't as careful as uh, my mum would have been but that's it <laughs> alright so I put them in the boiling hot water probably for about 10 minutes I reckon they're done. Cook up the sauce in a white wine sauce. Butter. That much there. Okay, in goes the garlic and the onion. Turn it about medium so it slowly sautes. Sea salt, some white pepper, okay, it's got a bit too golden brown that one. Now what I'm going to do is add some white wine. There we go. Let it simmer a bit. Mmm. And some parsley. And I'm going to throw in a few teaspoons of uh, plain flour. Seeps and whisk it up. And hopefully you don't get any lumps in it. I'm just going to taste it. Mmm, it's quite acidic because of the wine. I might need to put in a bit of sugar to neutralise that. Australian beautiful ravioli. Throw it in there. Now a few have broken. You can see the fingers coming out. <laughs> but I'm not too fast. Let it cook for five minutes to get those sauces into this ravioli. And that looks bloody epic. 
Some of these babaloids are massive. Look at that one. That is a huge dinosaur one. Try the sauce. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, spot on. A bit of parsley. Oh, yeah, that's a good sauce. All right. Can't wait. Throw it in here. Whoa. Look at that. That is creamy. That is delicious. Oh my god. I can't wait to hone into this. Alright, so this is plate one sample before I go inside the house and enjoy this. Let's open up a little parcel. See what we find. We find goodness. Look at that, hasn't collapsed, it's pretty well intact. Uh, I've said it before, it would have to be one of the best dishes I've made. That's whiting, fresh whiting, ravioli with a bit of smoked mussels, and a cream white winey sauce. Mmm, fantastic, absolutely, I'm proud of myself, anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, and you want to follow me, hit the subscribe button, everyone else that's uh, subscribed already, thanks very much, and thanks for the new people. Until next time, fish, take it easy ducker, and uh, fish, dorm up the teeth. Fish, See ya. Ducker, man. Fish, ducker, Beautiful. Fish, Absolutely magnificent. Ducker, the fish, ducker, man. Hey, right, up to the table. Fish, ducker, fish, ducker, fish, ducker, man. Fish, ducker, fish, ducker, the fish, ducker, man.